Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you a full demonstration on my face on how to use the Ordinary Resveratrol and Ferulic Acid 3% which are great antioxidants that help with signs of aging and textural irregularities but also have anti-inflammatory and photoprotective properties. Now this is an anhydrous solution which has no water in it, no silicones, no alcohols. And therefore you're going to apply it after your water-based zones, but before any oils and creams. And this one can also be used daily in the morning and or evening. Now you can use it nearly with all of the ordinary products except for one, which is also the ordinary Buffett copper peptides. If you have those two at home, please do not use them in the same routine, nor mix them. Please go ahead and use them at separate times. For example, use the ordinary Buffett copper peptides in the morning and the resveratrol plus fluorolic acid in the evening, so that you also won't come across any irritation or cross reactivity. And now that we also covered the main, which also may sound very overwhelming, let me also move on to the patch test and then I'm going to show you how you can apply it. So before you're going to do the patch test, it's also important to wash the upper forearm area where you're going to do the patch test so that this is also clean and dry before moving on. So go ahead, use a bit of soap and water, wash the area, rinse the area and then pat the skin dry. So, and once you have cleaned the area and it's also dry, you now can also go ahead and apply a small amount to the upper forearm area which you just have cleaned. Now, if you want to use less than a drop, which can be difficult because you're having a dropper, I recommend also using a bit on your fingertip, like this, and then use a small amount of it and then start placing it on the freshly washed area. This way you're making sure that you're not going to use too much, it's also able to soak into the skin and once you have placed the product also on the upper forearm area, you're going to leave it on there for 24 hours. And also while observing it and also leaving it on this area, please make sure that this area is also dry for the entire 24 hours. Now after the 24 hours have passed and you also have observed your skin, you now can also go ahead and rinse the area again with water. There's no cleanser needed, water is enough. And again, pat the skin dry. Now if you notice any redness, blistering, itching or other irritation where you've done the patch test during those 24 hours, please do not use it on your face and stop using the product. If no irritation occurs, we are now ready to also apply it to the face. Now after your patch test went well, you now also can go ahead and use the ordinary resveratrol and ferulic acid on your face. But before that, I also want to mention, please do not use it if you have sensitive or compromised skin, which basically means that, for example, your skin barrier is broken, it feels irritated and dry all the time, that whatever you're going to put on your skin, it just doesn't feel good. Please do not use it in this case, as it then can make so much more work, like the situation worse then improve it. But if this isn't the case then you also can start using it also on your face. Now you probably have the resveratrol and ferulic acid at home and if you have not or you also had a look online and you also had a look at the directions it may also sound very confusing and overwhelming. Well I do get it as it was the same for me as well but I'm going to break it down and put it into steps so that you also can use it the way that you also like to use it so that you also can understand how you can include it um, maybe in your skincare routine or just keep it simple and use it alone. That's basically it. So I'm going to show you now two things. 
how you can apply it alone, as well as with what you can mix it and also how you should mix it. So that you have both options and then you can pick the best one for your like current situation with the other skincare products. Now I also wanted to mention that with the ordinary spiritual and folic acid there's no need to put it in a refrigerator. So you're just going to leave it on your shelf, keep it dry and that's basically it. Now, I also want to mention that before you're going to apply it to your face, please also don't forget to start off with step number one, which is also washing your face with a gentle and suitable cleanser. I have already washed my face so that you have also a proper start, like a clean and freshly washed face before moving on. If you aren't sure how you can wash your face with a proper cleanser, then I also can link you the video in the top right corner. And so now I'm also ready for the application. Now I'm going to start off with using it alone. Like after you have washed your face, you have pat the skin dry, you can immediately move on to the application. That's totally fine. There's no need to also wait in between. And so you can include it in your skincare routine. If you do, apply the ordinary spiritual and ferulic acid after your water-based serums, but before any oils and creams. And the way that I'm now going to apply it is basically the same. Doesn't matter if you're using it alone, just cleanser and then apply this one or if you're going to include it in your skincare routine. Now I recommend starting off with one to three drops for the entire face and neck area. Of course, if you feel the need to add a few drops more, that's totally fine, as not everyone has the same size of face, but just make sure that you're starting off with less, see how it feels, and then you always can add more. I'm going to use two drops. And when applying this antioxidant to your face, it also can feel warm on your face, which is completely normal, so don't worry about it. It happens to me sometimes with certain antioxidants, and if it feels warm, just enjoy this moment, because it isn't hot, it just feels warm and very comfortable on the skin. And then you're going to apply it evenly all over your face and neck area, and that's basically it. After you have applied it, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. If you now want to follow it up with an oil or moisturizer, that's totally fine. If you feel that your skin feels great also when using it alone, that's also fine. Please make sure also don't forget to also add sunscreen as your very last step in your skincare routine. Doesn't matter how complicated or simple your routine may be. When also being exposed to the sun so that you also can protect the skin from it. Now this is basically how you can apply ferulic acid with the resveratrol basically alone or in your routine, that's that simple. And if you now want to also mix it with other treatments, you can also mix it for example with other water-based serums, with other oils, with your moisturizer, but also with vitamin C. And this is also a great example that I wanted to share with you. And I'm going to start off, of course, I'm going to use the Ordinary products. And they also have, for example, the Ordinary 100% Allascorbic Acid Powder. This is a pure form of vitamin C, and it's basically a powder version of it. And you can also go ahead and use the Ordinary Resveratrol um, with folic acid and mix it with the vitamin C powder. If you have that one at home it basically is going to stabilize the vitamin c formulation which means that your skin will get the most out of it so it's very beneficial when mixing the ordinary resveratrol with folic acid with your vitamin c products which can come in your moisturizer in a powder version or in a serum that's totally fine and i'm also going to show you the different versions of it now i'm going to start off with the powder that when using the ordinary elascopic acid powder, use about a half to a quarter like scoop um, of this little spoon that also comes with it. And then also adding the ordinary resveratrol and ferulic acid to it and basically mix it. Now when using the powder and this um, antioxidant gel, it's recommended to use about 5 to 10 drops of it. Now I do have to say, when using 10 drops, you really can come a long way with it and you can also blend it down your neck and decolletage and maybe also arms because that's quite a lot. So I recommend that if you're using it for the first time, try it with 5 drops, see how the mixture also goes for your face and neck area. If you need more drops, you can always add more drops, that's totally fine, but I recommend starting off with 5 since I believe that this is also a great mixture and it's just about the right amount. And so the way that you can do it is take the powder, put it in the palm of your hand, 
and then go ahead and use five to ten drops. I'm sticking with five. And then you can also go ahead and start mixing it. And it dissolves completely, like it doesn't feel grainy, it still feels great when also mixing it with the powder, as you can see. And now you can also go ahead, take that mixture and apply it all over your face and neck area. Still, after that, after you tried it for the first time, you feel the need to also use a bit more, that's totally fine, just go ahead for the next time you know that you also may want to use a bit more. Now if you want to use it, for example, with your moisturizer or also one of the suspensions, which I have right here, as well as your moisturizer that you also may have at home, which basically are cream, like it's basically a cream texture, then you can also go ahead and use a pea size amount of it. Now I'm going to stick with the suspension. So if you're going to use your moisturizer or cream form where white vitamin C is in it or just your random moisturizer that you have at home and you want to add the antioxidants to it, use one pea size amount of it. And then again, I recommend using between one to three drops. Now I'm going to stick with two drops. I'm starting kind of in the middle. And then, if you, especially if you're using it for the first time, then you can see how it feels on the skin, how far you can come with the application, if it's the right mixture. If you want to use less or add more, that's totally fine as well. So, and then you can also go ahead and start mixing it. So, and after the mixture is done, again, you just can take it off and apply it evenly all over your face and neck area. And this is also how you can mix it with a cream-like version. And the size of it won't change, like the amount of moisturizer or cream you're going to use will also be around a pea size amount. And you may also want to add more or less drops to it, so that you also have the right mixture for you that it feels also good on the skin. Again, when mixing it with other treatments, it can still feel also a little bit hot on the skin. And this is completely normal for this antioxidant. Now you can also go ahead and mix it, for example, with your oil as well as water-based serums. This depends also on what you have at home. Um, I'm going to stick with the oil since um, sometimes with water-based serums, the mixture won't be as completed since the antioxidant is an anhydrous solution. So if you have troubles mixing it with your water-based serum, try to use them separate. Most of the time it works best when mixing it with your moisturizer, with a vitamin C, powder, suspensions or also an oil. Now when using an oil, I'm going to use the borage seed oil to also demonstrate it. Um, you can also go ahead and use um, basically the amount that you also would use for the entire face and neck area, like cut it. Um, for example, two drops of the resveratrol and ferulic acid and two drops of the oil. Depending on the oil, for example, the rosehip seed oil, which also includes a high percentage of vitamin A, kind of like retinol, you may also want to be a bit more careful and reduce the amount of resveratrol so that you're not getting a too strong combination but still have it um, have the benefits out of it. This depends also on the oil that you're using, but with most oils there's no issue. It's mainly also with the, with the rosehip seed oil in this case. Now I'm going to use two drops of the oil and two drops of resveratrol and ferulic acid. And then you can also go ahead and start mixing it. See what mixture works the best for you. If you want to add a few drops more or less, this, is, this depends also on your face and also how you want to apply it. Um, this would be already the right amount for me and I also could really blend it down towards the neck. Um, it may also be a bit too much already, so you have to find the right amount based on um, how you're going to apply it. So, and now that I showed you how you can also mix it with cream products, with powder, as well as with a serum-like or oil formulation, you now also know how you can also mix it with other treatments. So again, you can use it alone, include it in your skincare routine and also mix it with other treatments, whatever works the best for you and also whatever fits the best for your skincare routine. 
Now, of course, if you also want to use it alone, you don't have to necessarily use a moisturizer or oil afterwards. This is just if you still need it. Um, otherwise, just leave it and keep it as simple as possible. Now, this is basically what I wanted to share with you. I do also hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.